freedom-loving South Africans overwhelmingly are appalled by what the Russian military is doing to the people of Ukraine and to their towns and cities and countryside. The ANC most certainly does not speak for South Africa on Ukraine. And that was a big part of my message to the people that I met there. This included mayors, governors, members of parliament, members of the opposition, former prime ministers, former presidents, academics, leaders of civil society, and ordinary citizens. I told them all the same thing. Our ANC government speaks only for its own narrow financial interests. It does not represent the citizens of South Africa in its immoral support for Russia. I assured them that our government's disgraceful stance on the UN votes and its shameless attendance of Russian functions glorifying their military on the day their invasion got underway was viewed as a stain on our country by the majority of our freedom-loving citizens. I pledge the support of these freedom-loving South Africans to their cause, and I vow that we will not stop putting pressure on our government to change its stance on this war, to condemn the Russian invasion of Ukraine, to call on Vladimir Putin to withdraw his army, and to call for the opening of the port of Odessa and other Ukrainian ports, where more than 30 million tons of exports are waiting to call for the return of stolen Ukrainian grains and agriculture equipment, and to recognize that Russia and Putin are guilty of war crimes.